Whatever happens tonight, 10 years from now, you're going to be prepared for whatever happens to you in life. Because the things we put you through every day. The whole key to what we're trying to do here is, I mean, in our culture, we're trying to build better men. And we're trying to equip them to go out into society and into their lives. And, you know, we talk about setting the tone every Monday when our young men are going to dress up and go to class. I think that's important. But if you look at the track record of our culture, our, our young men know right from wrong. They're very disciplined. They're very respectful. They love this community. They love this university. And they try to lead in the right way. The life lessons that they learn over here, the things that they, under, that they understand over here is gonna help them to a certain point. But if they don't have the degree to go with it, then we got problems. Football's gonna end for all these guys, we understand that, but um, you know, it's student athlete, it's not athlete student. You know, we've averaged 17 and a half graduates over the last five years, which is unheard of at this level of football. We've got guys in med school, uh, we've got guys in the business world, we have young men that are federal officers right now, we have obviously coaches and teachers out there that are uh, getting full-time jobs. So the money that we raise goes back to the players 100%. Once they're through playing, we're not, we're not even close to being done with them. We're going to keep coaching them, we're going to keep helping them. We've been very blessed, we've had some good teams here. Uh, but they're always going to be judged, in my opinion, by me, 20 years from now. I believe in our family, I believe in these young men, and I believe in being their coach the rest of their lives. When you recruit a young man and you look their parents in the eye and you say, I'm going to be their head coach, and they've given us everything they've got for four years, why wouldn't you help them finish? You can't just let them go once they're through playing. There's three things you don't ever forget. Who you are, where you came from, and what you came for. Part of my job is to try to fight to help my team and my, our football family do more and get more. So this is why I'm doing this video. This is why I'm reaching out to alumni, to people that just see this video, whoever wants to help. Everybody thinks when you're giving money that uh, you've got to make this big time donation. And uh, Man, I just don't have the funds to do that. I can't give $10,000. I can't give a $5,000 gift. Every gift counts and matters, okay? Uh, if someone gives $20 a month, I mean, that's really easy to do now with our website. You impacted them directly. Uh, but just by giving, then if you can do more, I'm asking you to do more. Uh, if you can't, I'm asking you to do what you can. That's all.